Hey, what's up everyone here? We are going to do some guides on Guild of Stars and all the dailies here in Arc Age. So, as I can't log in, we are just going to go to the Reddits and take a look at some well put together guides. Uh, some things that you may not have known of. So, I will link this down below in the chat and also in the comments. So, you can go to this website and take a look at this. This has all the daily Guild of Star quests for East and West factions. And it tells you exactly kind of what you need to do. So, to start off the Blue Salt... Uh, vendors around level 30 is when they start giving you daily quests and there is one two three four five daily quests there um, for each faction so east and west actually it looks like there's six they are missing one uh, so there's six daily quests for each faction they each give you one guild of star and you can do that each day then there is the arena guild of star quest which I believe you need to be level 50 to do and it's just kill uh, one opponent in the arena so that fairly simple I mean it may take you a couple of tries if you are very very weak but you do have to be level 50 to actually go into the arena and get the kill then there are daily quests for the dungeons and this is very very important these are the most valuable quest they give you three guild of stars every time you do it and again it's a daily quest so there's one for the very first for uh, palace cedar if you are in the east and then there's also one for the sharp wind mines if you are on the west and those are very very simple dungeons uh, you take one low level character 18 to 29 you run them through the dungeon you kill them kill the boss there and then open up the treasure chest at the end with the mentee and you will get three guild of stars there so that right there takes maybe like 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes to do a whole run if you are level 50 then there is a little bit more harder complex one which is the hardened farm instance and again same thing you need to run the instance with a minty of 31 to 39 you have to be level 40 to 55 to do this and then there is also another one at the burnt castle and same thing you have to run with a minty it's 31 to 39 and then you have to kill the final boss there again you have to be over level 40 to have this quest so I'm not sure actually if you can do both the Hardened Farm and the Burton Castle at the same time. Uh, it doesn't say East or West on here. I personally have not done the Burton Castle, so I don't know if you actually get that daily or if it's only West specific and then the Hardened Farm is East specific. So it doesn't say here, so I would assume that you could probably do both of them. So right there, just by doing those three instances, you can gather nine Guild of Stars in one day. And you can also do the other dailies up there. And you can get a total of like 15 Guild of Stars. And then with the Arena, you can get 16 Guild of Stars. But wait, there's more! So there's actually a Guild of Star that you can get for cooking. And so it, you can get one Guild of Star. It requires 15 Ginseng, 50 Rice, 25 Garlic... And this is out of the farmer's workstation, uh, if I recall correctly. It doesn't say on here, but I'm almost certain that it is. you have to have the farmer's workstation. You go over there, you craft one of these meals, and then you turn it into the uh, Daru vendor at the auction house. So you can get a total of, it looks like, 17 Guild of Stars every single day just by doing the daily quest doing all these quests will end up taking you probably three to four hours though uh, because the dungeons do take a little bit longer the higher ones and then some of the basic daily quests there are ones that you have to go and grow amounts in certain areas those are kind of time sinky as you have to teleport to this and that location uh, but yeah so you can get you know almost 20 guild of stars a day by just doing these daily quests and that really, really adds up quickly. As you can see in Auction House, uh, Guild of Star Designs, at, for 50 Guild of Stars, you're roughly paying about 50 gold. That's for the Thatched Farmhouses and for the Harpoon Clippers. As you get higher up, though, if you get to 100, 150, your value for Guild of Star actually goes up fairly dramatic. Uh, I'm not too certain on the value for 100 to 150 Guild of Stars, but what I do know is that the 250 Guild of Star designs sell roughly for like 2,000 gold. So that is a lot of money. So you can do all these dailies, and in about 10 to you know 15 days, you can end up making 2,000 gold just by doing daily quests for the Guild of Stars. So this is a high-end way of how to make a lot of money without requiring any trade packs. Uh, it is kind of time sinky, and it will, you know, cut into your playtime because again, you're going to spend three to four hours doing all these, you know, daily quests. 
Uh, and they do get boring and repetitive after a while. I'll tell you about that. Um, but yeah, so this is an easy, easy way to get Gildasars. It is just mind-numbing and time-consuming. So if there's anything that I missed or anything that is not here on the Reddit forum page, uh, you know, let me know. I will, again, link this in the comment section down below and then also link it in the uh, you know description. So have at it. Definitely go and get your Guild of Stars. You can make a lot of money selling the Guild of Star designs. Do not sell your Guild of Stars when you're at 50 or 100. Save them up for 250 or even 500. The 500 Guild of Star house design. Uh, and then there's also a 400 Guild of Star uh, mer merchant boat that carries the 20 trade packs, if I recall correctly, on the price. Those things are extremely valuable. And you start to get like 10 to 15 gold per Guild of Star. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any other questions or tips about Guild of Stars, please leave them down below.